At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please! Hacking. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. I guess I'm playing the president. Please? Please? Madam President! Uh, Jericho Assault. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Please. Please. Public, of, public Please. opinion. Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the Deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The Deviants have proved to be very violent so far. They have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Madam President! Um, intelligent life. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President! Warring theft? A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Thank you. That will be all. One last question for the out of focus man. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. The <laughs> taxi with the little Wi-Fi logo. The rope for the cars and the thing on the side for the train is interesting. That is a very big tower. Shit. Nope, oh, I have no control over this. you thanks but I know where to go maybe but I have my orders okay very worrying very worrying Identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. 
Christ. Agent 47? Oh boy. I guess the reference always, always was, in, was expected, right? To anything. This is just creepy. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Forty-nine. Okay. If that's where I need to go, that's where I need to go. Okay. I still killed him. That's weird. Please indicate your identity and destination. Uh, Agent 54's voice. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Oh, sub 49. We're going down. Reach the bus terminal. Where am I? The last right. bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Come on, Alice. Are you alright? Okay. I can turn off her cold sensitivity. Oh, is it gone on the floor? Shit. That just goes into her Come ass. On. Let's not stay here. No, please don't hurt me. Stop pointing me. Agent fifty four. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. Going to sneak past them without being noticed. Oh, this is like so. Going to make it, Alice. I promise you. Oh. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything. Shut up! I say. Are there many more? Look at them like rats. Or you look the boy you buy. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take me. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Go, go, go. Hurry up, get in. Go, 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 careful.
I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm sorry, Alice. There's nothing we can do. I'm sorry, Alice. Expecting me, and we're going to. Get orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Fucking androids. Come on, Alice. Oh, I would have missed that if I wasn't paying attention. On the bus, Kara, stop walking. A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. Eleven minutes, right? Detour. I'm taking a detour, it takes eleven minutes. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Oh boy. We're all going to die. We are all going to die. This is not gonna end well. Look, they've already drawn their guns. They're just gonna shoot us down, aren't they? Free the androids and convince the humans. Okay. Here we are. The moment of truth. I, I love it if that was just a picture. Peaceful. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now.
Stay calm. Stay calm. There's no turning back now. Calm. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Oh, I have to move him. I uh, see. I was assuming because the little androids at the back was walking. Fire! Don't retaliate. Raise hands. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Who's watching? Hold your fire. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Well. Stay sharp. Of course. Damn, Connor. Everybody hold hands. Piece of shit. Step back, Connor. Oh God. I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Oh my goodness. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus from the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Find a way to leave, find tickets. I I I don't know. Bags. Oh no!
Security check. Please don't move. Alice? I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. gonna keep it I'm sorry oh my god I am so sorry I, I was Shit, sure I don't believe it I don't know what happened you kind of lost them did you have a good look in your bag they were in my backpack the, the envelope must have fallen fuck excuse me you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere did you it has our bus tickets in it and I'm sorry we have to leave. And you guys are actually people. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. I... Come on, Alice. I'm sorry, Alice. Security I'm... check. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Look, I will do whatever it takes to protect Alice. Get in. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? I don't know. Reassure. No. No, of course not. I don't know that, but... <laughs> no, don't look back, Kara. Oh, Kara made it. Bring me back to Connor. This is important for me now. Keep a good public image. Gotta finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me. All right, we're, we're pushing. Man, Marcus, how do you live with those gaping wounds? That should do it. I all know that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Sure thing, Josh. Sure thing. I support my people as well. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Is 
Send a message to the journalist, right? Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Equality. All we want is equality. Equal rights for androids. Hey, North. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, humans. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. No regrets. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Public indecency. Stop touching each other with your white hands. Put it away, Marcus. It doesn't need to come to this. Coming closer, huh? They won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We Maybe. can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Oh boy. Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. I know they it is. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm not armed, Marcus. I just want to talk. Fine. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? Then That's I'll become. I'll, have to take. I'll become stronger than they ever know. I can. Uh, they never know. Sure. Look, the joke. The journalist is watching. I will come talk to you. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... None of you will be destroyed. And the other what happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. 
That android. You seem to really care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? Oh, trust me, I sacrifice you know, everyone in the heartbeat. You could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'm gonna refuse this deal. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. I guess I did. I guess I fucking did. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? Your speech. Inspirational speech. Do it. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. That was cheap. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. This is very, very unnerving. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Oh no. Save Hank. Alright. All right. You win. Interpose. I can't tell which is me anymore. Manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. Oh Maybe shit. My partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Hank, make the choice. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... Go on. My son, what's his name? 
You never told me. Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- oh. Jesus, Hank. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Can we become friends now, Hank? Go ahead and do what you gotta do. Oh. Okay. Wake up. Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake, wake up, up, everybody. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. This is all this is super unnerving and very uncomfortable. I wonder if all those are just JPEGs. Oh boy. Please don't have like a random security check. I just want Kara to be all right. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. <laughs> Canada. This way, please. All passengers. We're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we going to do, Kara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. Will we? Look for help. Handed over nothing. Oh. <gasps> That's a um, rose. Yeah. Thank goodness Rose is here.
Man, Kyrie, you look awful. the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. Uh, brother. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there too. You'll be safe with him. Cool. But we have another problem. Um, control. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Then how will we make it through? Alice? Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. You're leaving Detroit? Everybody is. We're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. Cool. Great. This is goodbye then. Is my last option. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. Thanks, Adam. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Make a decision. No sacrifice. Next, please. We can make it. We can. Or it, it's possible. ID, please. Welcome, Welcome to Canada. to Canada. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Marcus. And your public opinion.
Holy shit. Holy shit, we made it. Oh my goodness, that was so tense. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants demonstration by force this time. Marcus? North! Ah, come on. These controller movements are not intuitive at all. No. Stand your ground, stand your ground. Kiss North. I will not use the dirty bomb. That one fucker with his Godzilla. Well. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from Cyberlife warehouses One of their to have just been infiltrated in. by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. Although these machines claimed they only wanted freedom, today they showed their true colors. What, by I not know fighting that public back? opinion is united in its desire to take Detroit back. We will fight them with all our strength, and we will not rest until we have destroyed them all. Humanity is about to face its most important battle, one that will lead to our victory or our extinction. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. The humans the are abandoning the camp. We won. Jesus, that guy was loading in. You should speak to them. Me? That low Marcus poly is gone. man was Everyone loading from in. Jericho is dead. You're the one who defeated the humans. You're the one who awakened us, Connor. Uh, 
Viva la revolution I guess What? Am I going to have an internal battle with myself? Well done, Connor. Everything went according to plan. What plan? You becoming deviant? The success of the uprising? It all surpassed our expectations. Who's? We engineered an android revolution. What? And now we control its only leader. Congratulations. You represent an immense success for Cyberlife. No. Connor. What are you doing? It all worked perfectly. You can't ruin it all now. Goodbye, Connor. I'm sorry, Connor, but we can't let you do that. This got to be away. Connor. Emergency exit. That thing. That thing that I couldn't access before. Right? <laughs> Try Connor. for it no gunshot it's over Alice we're free You reckon th this can wait l until later? Well, that's something. What about Connor though? What? Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I guess. Sure. But... I... I don't even... I don't even know what to think of it now, like... So what? The... What what happened to the Andro Android Revolution? What is there going to be an all-out war between humans and androids? Well, I think this is definitely the better Quantic Dream game. Certainly, it's less rapey, less. Um, less forced some of the characters are still a little iffy but the four the three guys you play as they're all very nice and relatable and they're very well set interestingly well written personally i liked connor the best because he showed a lot of the, like like growth but the other two especially like 
I'm surprised as to how much that Kara grew on me. As well as as well as Marcus. I, I thought I'd come in, come in like hating Marcus. But you know, this all worked out, I think. Right. But still a little intriguing though. Yeah, it, it gives a, it gives a good, it's it's a good story. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's completely faultless, like like that that twist in the end with um, what's her face, Alice being a, an android, that was um, unexpected and also a little bit unnecessary. I d I don't think that was needed. But I liked Marcus's uprising, and I liked you know I liked I liked all the stories. It, it was interesting. Oh, I, uh, oh. Yeah, it's skippable. That's nice. That's nice. Do we have like an after credit scene like the Avengers? Okay, what is this? The androids woke up. Oh my god. Kara and Alice crossed the border. Marcus died with his people. Okay. Interesting. My turn to decide. The Kara one, though. Wait, Battle for Detroit. Connor's last mission? Oh. Oh. Okay. I could have disabled the cameras as well. Shit. Detroit Street, find gun. Hide from military. Sneak past soldiers, find Jerry. Hurry. Security checkpoint, take the detour. Delayed at the bus terminal. Watch TV. Alice meets a mother. Parents drop bus tickets, steal tickets. See? See? That was it. That was it. Stealing the tickets was the only way to get into Canada. I made the, I made the correct decision. We crossed the border. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. Oh boy. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? So she she loads in every time and tells me about my game and stuff. I'm yes. You can go. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Walk away. So that was Detroit. Holy shit. I will have to go back and play it again. For sure. 
Maybe I'll play um maybe I'll play uh heart heart revolution markers. Full violence. Car that doesn't care. And and you know, suicide uh, like Copper Connor. You never know. That was fun. Real fun. <laughs>